اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت أعوذ بالله اشترى جيب بسم الله الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the brother Abu Dhar from the Ruqya Services. And today we're going to do an interview with one patient of ours, one dear brother in Islam, to explain to you the danger of going to empty places and going to desert places without saying Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So you understand how it's important to mention Allah's name subhanahu wa ta'ala when you do actions. And uh, Assalamu alaikum, my brother in Islam. Alaykum salam. Uh, my brother in Islam, can you mention to us uh, why you came to do Ruqya with us first? Um, I was getting a lot of uh, weird symptoms. I developed a lot of allergies. Um, became allergic to painkillers, got asthma, um, kept getting ill all of, well, all of a sudden. Mm -hmm. um, and you were uh, quite fit before all this happened? Yeah, I was very fit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we performed on you many ruqya and we are not sure what's happening because the symptoms kept changing, true? Yeah. Okay, true. And uh, my brother, when uh, we do ruqya on you, aiming against jinn uh, that harming people, how was your reaction? Because I have to remember the brothers and sisters listening that we read on him the ruqya against the jinn that could oppress. We call it ruqya the jinn zalim, the ruqya against the oppressing jinn. And uh, how was the reaction to that? Um, well, it was like my body was shaking mm -hmm. at first, at times, um, and, and that was it. In, it was the second or third rukia, nothing happened. And then... How was the level of the shaking of your body comparing to the word tayr and comparing to the word valimun? Mm, it was quite violent. My chest was lifting up quite mm -hmm. a bit. And you were a bit concerned, thinking, why is my uh, chest moving that quick and to that power? True? Yeah, that's right. And we know that word tire means the fly. So we understand that you're affected by the jinn that flies. And the word valimun means the oppressors. Can you tell us what you do as a job, please? I'm a gas engineer. So your job will involve to go to people's house and to empty corners or empty places in the house to perform your work on the boilers, true? That's right, and the mm -hmm. attics as well. Attics, a lot of the attics. Yeah. Uh, you told me about uh, you used to work in your uncle's house, and can you tell us about this since the prob problem started, please? Well, uh, my uncle bought a house, um, and he wanted a central heating system in there. So me and my um, my worker went in there, mm -hmm. and um, just started working. One day, well, the one day I got ill, whilst we were there um after that i i had a chest infection mm. after that i got allergic to things mm -hmm. um doctors couldn't understand what was going on mm -hmm. um went to allergy clinics and they just said you you You've just become allergic to things. But they couldn't understand the reason why a fit man like yourself. How old are you, brother? Um, 30. And 30 years old, you know, and on funny shababi, the man, he's a youth, mashallah, tabarakallah, he's good. And all this allergy happened. That's good. Yeah. Now, we understood that you got oppressed, you got affected by jinn, that maybe you oppressed his area where he lives. Yeah, I, I kind of, um, when I sat down and thought about what had happened before, why, the, when, when it all started, was when um, I went into an attic mm -hmm. in my uncle's house, which yep. I'm guessing nobody's been in for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, and the problem started from that day, yeah? Yeah. So what's the plan now, inshallah ta'ala, every time we enter a house, what we say? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And we make sure we sat at the kursi. Yeah. And every time we enter an attic or move a door, we we'll start doing a boiler in a corner in a deserted place, we always have to say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Yeah. Uh, can you warn the Muslims to your experience how dangerous it is not to mention Allah names when you are doing things in deserted places, please? Yeah, it's, um, it's quite dangerous because... Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. Anything can. But the signs I've got is just um, it's crazy. Nobody knows what's yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's it. Alhamdulillah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you shifa ajil and to protect you and protect all the Muslims 
and this is is the importance of the Askar al-Sabah wal masa and this is the importance of reciting Ayat al-Kursi before bed, when you wake up, when you enter the said place, you say Bismillah al-Rahim, Bismillah al-Ladhi la-yadhurru ma'asmihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fil samai wa huwa al-Sami'u al-Alim. Keep yourself protected and remember prevention, it's better than cure. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.